Namaste. I am Professor Dr. Pramod K. Raghav, Professor of Food Technology, Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Science, Jyoti Vidya P. Tumans University, Jaipur. Today's session is Cheese, Dairy Engineering, BTEC FBT, 6th semester. Cheese, as the name says, and a lot of food products come in the mind. And the first is cheese you see and you have seen on pizzas. So that is a cheese, Parmesan cheese. There are so many types of cheese. And let me tell you here one thing, that cheese is not the paneer. Paneer is cottage cheese and cheese is cheese. So cheese is something different. But cheese is also prepared from the milk. Now let me share the screens and let me explain you screen by screen how many type of cheeses are there, how they are made, what is the technology of cheese making, what type of cheese we consume and so forth so on so let me just share the screen with you here is the screen sharing and here is the presentation and i am sharing it with you here is the shared screen let me bigger it for you yes i did it big for you cheese is the curd or substance which is formed by the coagulation of the milk remember it is also a milk coagulated product and uh, milk of certain mammals by rennet or similar enzyme in the presence of lactic acid and produced by added or adventitious microorganisms from which part of the moisture has been removed by cutting, warming and pressing and which has been given a shape in the mold and later on which is ripened also by holding for some time at suitable temperature and humidity. So that is known as cheese and you can cheese Mice love cheese. See, a mice is being shown and is carrying a piece of cheese over her owner. So mice, they love cheese. And naturally, human beings also love cheese. Cheese is, is a stuff which is really, really, you know, it's fantastic milk product. Categories, there are two, three categories of the cheese. Uh, they are categorized how the coagulation achieved, was achieved. What was the ripening method? And ultimately, what was the texture of the uh, cheese? So they can be categorized based on the texture, based on their ripening method, based on their coagulation type. And uh, co coagulation, two, three uh, type uh, of, of coagulation are available there. They can be coagulated by using acid. Okay. They utilize an acid only for coagulating the protein in the milk. And uh, another method is uh, type of cheese in which we use heat and acid both. So they have a heat step in the precipitation of casein protein of milk. And because of the heat step, these cheeses are typically a bit lower in moisture and lower quantities of residual lactose. For example, ricotta cheese. And uh, acid coagulation is like cottage cheese, your paneer and cream cheese. And then there are acids and enzymes. At the acid is produced by added or naturally occurring lactic acid bacteria and coagulating enzyme is added to form curd and then that is pressed and ripened and molded. So uh, based on the coagulation, there are three types of the um, coagulation is done and cheese is prepared out of these three coagulations. So here you can see based on the ripening method, cheese type and ripening method an example, fresh unripened cheese. For example, cottage cheese, soft surface mold ripened cheese, uh, uh, camembert, and internally mold ripened, ripened by growth of the blue green mold penicillium, roquefort, and cartilage formed by acid produced from bacteria and coagulation occurs by addition of rennet. Roquefort is the example. So these are the various methods of the ripening of the cheese. That's how the cheese is ripened. You can see the surface bacteria ripened cheese, uh, 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 Limburger, internally bacteria ripened, Chedar cheese, which is very, very popular, Chedar cheese, internally ripened curd, again Chedar cheese, uh, Swiss cheese, which is internally ripened secondary culture. So secondary culture of bacterium that utilizes lactic acid to produce carbon dioxide is added 
and CO2 forces open the eyes of the whole cheese and uh, that is internally ripened secondary culture so like swiss cheese so those were the various methods of ripening and the cheese were categorized on the based of the method of ripening now texture based on the texture there are you know the cheeses there are different type of cheeses like very hard uh, texture cheese which is used for grating uh, moisture less than 35% on mature cheese and ripened by bacteria for example parmesan cheese and romano cheese parmesan cheese is, is very popular romano cheese then there are the hard cheese which is having moisture less than 40% and ripened by bacteria without eyes like cheddar cheese and uh, ripened bacteria with eyes swiss cheese so based on the texture and ripening method we receive uh, you know get this type of texture and then semi hard which moisture is like 40.4% ripened uh, principally by bacteria brick type cheese ripened by bacteria and surface microorganism limburger cheese and uh, ripened uh, principally by blue mold and there are the soft cheese with uh, which has moisture percent of 47% and if i talk about unripened then the cottage and ripened it cheese is also there so these are the various type of cheeses based on the texture now standards of cheese how a uh, cheese look must have uh, contain in it so that you can call it a cheese hard pressed cheese should have 39% moisture and 48% milk fat same semi hard cheese should have a moisture of 45% and 40% milk fat semi soft cheese should have a moisture of 52% and milk fat 45% similarly soft cheese should have a moisture of 80% and milk fat 20% and extra hard cheese extra hard as the name suggests naturally the moisture will be less 36% and fat is 32% and pizza cheese the pizza cheese the cheese which you eat on pizza as a lot should have a moisture of 54% and milk fat 35% so these are the various standards for the different type of cheese cheese is huge actually it's a very big sector cheese is produced from milk and this is carried out by a process of dehydration where casein and fats are concentrated 5 to 15 fold cheese production is very complicated and broadly involves four stages acidification of the milk coagulation formation separation of curd from whey and then ripening of the the cheese so these are the steps which are followed in the cheese formation now these are the chemical composition of cheeses moisture fat protein ash and salt you can see here on the screen cheddar cheese and cottage cheese a comparison they have given i don't need to elaborate it much but you can say there's a whole lot of difference a moisture see cottage cheese as the name suggests paneer has lot of moisture in it approximately 70% and fat in the cottage cheese is very less and cheddar cheese is 34% protein is more over same and ash and salt you can see now how the this is the process flow diagram of the cheese how the cheese is made so milk is taken selection pre treatment standardization and then the cheese milk we add this tartar culture acidification color if we want which is optional calcium chloride is also up. then coagulation we do by the renator acid and we get the coagulum once we get the coagulum we cut coagulum we stir it we heat it we do the acidification and separation of curd from the whey so milk cheese is milk coagulum and after cutting coagulum stirring heating acidification we get the curd and then we setting up the curd without stirring so curd ko pura set kar denge fir usko different block mein hum cut karenge aur blocks mein after cutting it into the blocks 
will do the operation of milling and in this acidification special operations cheddaring stretching salting molding pressing all are done in this milling and then cheese curd block is formed and then it is packaging and then it is left for the ripening and after ripening you get the cheese so it is such a long process of making the cheese from the mill not that easy so you go through it slowly slowly as i am telling you let me explain one more time i am taking the mill cheese milk i am adding starting culture color calcium chloride coagulation then coagulation coagulum is received that coagulum is cut stir heat acidified separated from the curd separated the curd from whey and then setting of that curd without stirring then cutting into various blocks and then milling is done acidification special operation cheddaring stretching malting salting molding and pressing is done and then cheese curd block is prepared that is packed and ripening is done and that's how the cheese is ready and then the cheese is ready so that's how you do the cheese preparation now these are the various health benefits of the cheese uh cheese helps prevent the cancer cheese strengthen bones and cartilages it is excellent food for gaining weight if you want to gain weight eat more and more cheese it is beneficial in maintaining healthy and strong teeth promotes uh, deposition of calcium and phosphorus in the teeth and reduces risk of osteoporosis in post menopausal women which is very important for the women if they eat cheese they'll be healthy so those were the health benefits of the cheese and that's how the cheese is prepared it was a technology of making the cheese now students let me tell you as usual in all of my lectures i have said then when i am telling you this technology it is understandable that all the standard food safety practices must be followed and secondary plant sanitation and plant hygiene is to be taken care of wherever you are processing it processing area their walls drains equipment surfaces must be clean second third thing is that general manufacturing practices gmps are to be strictly followed they have to be followed they have to be written they have to be documented and then uh, personal hygiene which is very very important and what is the uh, important stuff in the personal hygiene is washing hands properly you have a proper hand wash area employees must follow all the personal hygiene uh you know uh personal hygiene uh, 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 uh what you call that uh, practices and uh, the personal hygiene is to be maintained so uh that is understood and uh, as far as packaging is concerned the packing area must be clean and uh, you should make all the efforts that there should not be any contamination must enter to the ready food when you are doing the packaging most of the time while packaging um, the lot of ignorances are there and whatever you have done from beginning to the end that will always so you have to be very careful about uh, in packaging and once the packaging is done labeling follow the laws of the label and then naturally storage all these products are perishable in nature hard cheeses i have seen that can be stored under the shade at normal temperature but all other cheeses are to be maintained minimally at 4 degrees celsius as other milk products if they are not canned so that was all about the cheese making let me stop the sharing of the screen and then let me take you to the yes i am back here again in front of you so that's how the cheese was made i you had a nice 15 minutes of walking through of cheese making with me and uh, again cheese is not paneer cheese is different paneer is different 